Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this gradient typewriting text animation in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use these type of animations in your explainer videos or wherever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I come in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to comp, new comp and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok also for this one i'm using this 32 bits per channel so if you're using 8 bit you can just change it to 32 bit this will help you to have a little bit better glow so first let's create a solid and let's click on ok on this one we are going to apply a four color gradient so let's search for it and let's drag it onto this let's just quickly change the colors and i'm going to make them like very dark something like that let's make this one dark as well now just play around with their position however you want let's place this one somewhere around this and yeah, i think this looks good so i'm happy with my gradient it's completely up to you can play around with the colors now once you're done with this let's begin by creating our text box so for that i'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool just simply click and drag and it will create this box now let's align it in the center using the line panel if you're not able to see the line panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it also let's change its roundness so let's search for roundness and i'm going to set this to 70 so that the edges are really round also let's make sure that it's anchor point is in the center so you can hold on the control key double click on this pan anchor tool now we are done with our text box also, it, uh, the fill is set to none and we only have the stroke which is set to 4 pixels. Let's select this and we are ready to add our text. So for the text, let's select the text tool. Just click and type whatever you want. Again, this thing is completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. And let's just select this. Just increase its size. Let's align it in the middle. Perfect. So here we have our text. Now, in order to animate this text, we can just simply search for typewriter and over here we have this these two options so typewriter and blinking typewriter console now in the older versions you only have this typewriter effect you don't have this blinking typewriter console so if you have the older version you can just update it to get this one otherwise you can use the regular typewriter effect as well let's drag it onto this and now if i press play we have this typewriting effect let's select this let's move the keyframes far away so that we have this effect a little bit slow there you go also, let's make sure that this is set to right align so that the text is typing into this direction rather than going from the center and let's just align it in the middle. Perfect. We are done with our text. Now let's animate the everything by simply adding a null object. Now I'm going to select both of these layers, parent them to the null. So for scale, we can add by pressing S, let's press P for position, let's press U. To get the keyframes now i'm going to move it to this point and over here we can just scale this up and let's just place it to this location and as soon as it starts typing let's just copy the scale and just paste it over here we can start moving to the other side so somewhere around here so now if I press play, you can see we have this sort of motion and after this are and after this it will scale out like this. Now we can select these keyframes, press F9 to easy them. Let's go to the graph editor. Now we can just check how it is looking and I think we can do one more thing. Let's just make it a little bit fast so that we are following the cursor. There you go. We can also make these keyframes move closer. And let's just easy ease them. We don't want any kind of. There you go. Now we have this very nice typewriting effect. Maybe let's delay it a little bit. There you go. Now we have this typewriting effect. And after that, we scale out to this position now before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue now once we have this we are ready to animate 
our box as well so in the beginning we can just simply copy this keyframe and just paste it over here and let's just copy this and just paste it over this so that we have this scaling in motion and let's just move it a little bit ahead now we can animate this as well so let's select this and let's search for size uncheck these values and just add a keyframe let's move it to this point and in the beginning we can just set this to 80 and 80 maybe move it a little bit ahead and in the beginning we can just set this to 0 comma 0 so that we have this scaling animation and after that it will scale up to this let's just copy this and paste it now we can select these keyframes press f9 as well and over here we can make it and let's just make it start very quick now if i press play you can see we have this thing and after that we have this growing up we can maybe move these keyframes closer so that both of these are moving at once so we are done with the basic animation you can see we have this thing now we are done with the basic animation let's stylize this to have this very nice gradient look so for that we can search for gradient effect let's search for gradient four color gradient and i'm going to drag it onto this layer let's just bring them closer so let's just quickly lock this layer and we can and let's select this and we can play around with the gradient position so for this one we can make it blue and yeah i think this gradient color looks good to me now at last we can add some glow to this by simply adding a bunch of different stacked glows let's search for glow and let's drag it onto this now let's increase the scale and just decrease the glow and we can lower down this value as well now we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and onto this one we can increase this quite a bit let's decrease this and let's just play around with this value as well we can set this to add and i think the glow is too much so we can load load this down and also let's just lower down this value and after that let's just keep it over here for this one we can lower it down and let's add one more instance and onto this one we can just increase it quite a bit so now i'm happy with my glow settings and you can see we have created this animation so far now we can improve this little bit more by simply adding some light sweep so for that let's create an adjustment layer and on top of this let's search for light rays and let's just drag it onto this it will give you this parameter which we can easily animate so for that let's just zoom in and let's select this and let's press u so at this point we can move this glowing radius somewhere around here so as soon as that first text appears like this we can start animating it so let's create a keyframe let's create a keyframe for intensity as well now let's press u now all you have to do is just move a little bit ahead by pressing page down key then just simply start moving this we can increase the intensity at this point let's move a little bit ahead now basically you want it to follow this thing so now as i'm playing you can see we are able to see this very nice glow let's keep on doing this so let's move again and just keep it over here and again press page down key and at this point we can have like intensity keyframe so that it fades away let's just set this to zero now if i press play you can see we have this very nice light going on there you go now we have our text now at last to stylize this more you can just simply enable motion blur so just enable this and also make sure that the motion blur for the composition is selected now at last we can press play and see what we have created i don't want this like i don't want this to be visible in the beginning so we can maybe let's add a keyframe and just set this to zero so that the glow will start after we have our text over here there you go this is how you can create your gradient typing text animation in after effects now the best thing is that you can easily change the text all you have to do is just simply select this and let's just type whatever we want animation work and now if i press play you can see we have all the animations already applied we might have to play around with the 
timing of this so for that we can just simply move it a little bit let's delay it a little bit now if i press play you can see our text is being typed and we have this slight leak now you might have to play around with the timing of these keyframes depending upon what you are trying to type there you go now our text is being typed with this glow so this is how you can create these kind of animations now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one